Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul. And I just want to say um, welcome. We're going to talk a little bit to Wendy about how she started paint parties and what's going on in her world. So welcome, Wendy. Thanks for being here. Hey, Heidi. It's just a honor to be here to chat with everybody. Y'all doing okay today? Woo. <laughs> We're doing good. <laughs> okay, so um, tell us a little bit about um, I want to know what your business name is and then kind of how life was before paint parties and how life is looking now with paint parties. Okay. Okay. Well, I am paint with wind in. Uh, I got that name because I used to help out a softball team and they used to call me windy dandy. And whenever I made my name, I just, I thought I, we would shorten that. They started to call me wind in. So I was like, that sounds pretty good. So how that's how I got that? my name. For your business uh, name. How do you spell that for your business name? It's uh, paint with and then wind in is W E N dash D E N. Paint with wind in. Yes. Cute. Okay, cute. Okay, sorry to interrupt. I just want to write that. Nice. Let's see can follow you up there. <laughs> That's right. Um, and then whenever, uh, actually, I was just surfing on Facebook, <laughs> like everybody else does, I guess, and I saw your stuff coming across my page you know uh you know hi Heidi here you know uh and I saw it several different times I didn't watch it the first couple of times but I thought I said hmm, paint parties you know and uh so that just caught my eye and I thought well that sounds interesting so I started listening more in on all your stuff and I just said that's it it took me about a month to decide because you know you have to go to God about everything Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I did, I just jumped <laughs> in. Yeah. <laughs> I just jumped on in and sent my first, you know, $35 <laughs> and, just, and I'm still here. So <laughs> she's talking about, she's talking about paint party headquarters. So had, yes. you, had you been a painter before you started doing paint parties? Uh, on my own, I have painted, you know, things for people that requested stuff, but never have I ever dreamed of doing a paint party. Um, so that just lit a fire, I guess you could say. <laughs> That's so cool. So, um, how, about how many paint parties have you done? Are you doing like one a month or what would you say? I, when I first came in, I was shooting for at least one a month. And I, whenever I came in, it was about, I guess that was around October, November when I first started. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was shooting for one or two. So I've kept about two a month because I also work a full-time job, you know, at, at the same time so <laughs> yeah I, oh yeah I totally get when I started my paint parties I was full-time teacher so I totally understand that yes yes maybe one day I won't be you know doing that other job <laughs> yeah you, that's the thing you just never know where um paint parties are gonna lead you know I was talking to to Sierra earlier and it's just some you know it's I, I always call this a paint party adventure because you just yes. don't know where it's gonna lead and um, so what would you say has been the most exciting thing about teaching paint parties and then maybe a challenge that you've had that you've overcome? <laughs> um, <laughs> your laugh. I'm not excited yeah. to hear what you're going to say. <laughs> I guess the most exciting part is, I guess, is about meeting more people and, you know, learning how other people think, getting on here and seeing everybody else's ways and do's and following all your instructions. So that has been uh, just very exciting to me to learn more information that I would never have thought of on my own. You know, so you've been kind of like a, a leading stepping stone each way. So that's been great. And then when I meet all the other people outside, like just in my paint parties, that's been fun too. Oh, I um, love meeting <laughs> new people like that. I think it's like the half introvert in me and the half extrovert it's like I need my time alone but then I want to go hug everybody you know exactly <laughs> exactly I am I'm an introvert and then I really like to once I'm out and about I'm good I'm, I'm you know I'm talking and everything else so yeah I met yeah. your friends some fun parties too I have I have my mom's been to almost all of them so. Oh, good. So she's, yeah she's been very supportive uh, oh, that's awesome okay yeah. so what has been maybe one of the challenges that you were like, oh my gosh, and then you overcame it? <laughs> yes, the challenge, I'm pretty sure this is for everybody or close, is that getting on live and making live videos. And that was my biggest challenge getting that started. I'm over that now, but at the beginning, 
<laughs> at, the <beginning. laughs> at the beginning, it was very scary, <laughs> you know. What was um, scary about going online and doing live parties? Because paint, you know, the future of paint parties, we have a we have a different, you know, obviously we're still gonna do in person, but there's a lot of people that now are going to be doing online paint parties as well. So what what was so scary about doing a Facebook Live? Oh, the Facebook Live is like they can just see. I don't know. I ain't gonna say your flaws, but they can be captured. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes. It's like it they, can, they can capture it captures your flaws or your mistakes, and they can always rewind back and say, "Oh, she messed up" or whatever. You know that goes through your head, but I'm sure nobody really does that. I don't think. <laughs> but uh, however, I did rewind and watch the spill that the what's her name made. Oh, Christy, friend <laughs> Christy. Because she handled it with grace, and I thought, I need to watch how she just, and she talked through it and everything. I thought, well, if I ever do that, <laughs> I want to be able to do it like that. I'm, I'm so surprised she didn't, <laughs> she didn't cuss during that. She, was, she held it together. <laughs> right, right. We all, we all when we spill all of our, our art <laughs> it makes you want to cuss, no matter how, <laughs> how much you don't want to. <laughs> Well, I've learned a lot through that uh, teaching kids. I do a lot of artwork with kids. Whenever I was about 16 years, I was in daycare. So, you know, you had to be creative yeah. in daycare. So whenever you spill stuff or they spill stuff, you just learn to just, okay, let's just grab a towel, let's go with it, you know, whatever. But, you know, it's something that you learn. To, it's, it's okay, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just proud of you because so many people, like, there is – so much opportunity online, especially in this creative painting, you know, space. And um, yes. I mean, we're looking at multiple millions of people that are on scrolling Facebook, you know, I That's mean, right. so, so for those of you that are like, so scared to go live, and I know, like Wendy said, well, they could rewind or see our flaws or, <laughs> you know, you're, you're going to have very, very few people that have time or even yes. want to see that. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times, you know, like I've been bashed about stuff and I just block and ban, block and ban, you know, so, <laughs> so there are mean people out there no matter how much good or how much love you're trying to show. So I just want right. people to know that it does happen, but it does hurt, you know, it can't hurt your feelings, but right. those are just, you know, hurt people, hurt people. They're just mean that's people right. and you just got to block and ban if that's the way they're going to be and move on. Um, so, okay. So how many lives have you done? I'm curious. Oh my goodness, how many lives? Really, I I was very scared of the lives. I'm not gonna lie. I, actually, whenever you just told us to do the virtual Easter the thingy, yeah, yeah, the Easter sunrise, that actually went pretty well. You know, um, that actually was my actual first virtual that I've done. So, <laughs> yay! You're making, I was like, you're making it. I was thinking I wasn't ready for that. You know, that's what I was thinking. So everybody just jump in. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are ready for any of it. It's all scared the crap out of us. <laughs> right. You never know what's going to happen. And I had my nephew there and I never knew what he was going to say. <laughs> what <are> you, <laughs> if he was going to say anything crazy. And I'm, and I'm talking about Jesus, but I was trying to give him the eye. Like, you know, <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I have three brothers and a sister and you know, we grew up like I was pretty much the person that got made fun of the most, but you know, so I can usually take it pretty good, but yeah, yeah. whenever I'm on, on camera and if I see like one of my family members, I'm like, Oh my gosh, please don't heckle me right now. Please don't throw me off my game because you know, yeah. siblings, they just want to heckle, you know? Yes. Yes. They so, do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I'm so proud of you for doing your Facebook um, live because now you're able to check your Facebook insights. You can start to yes. see how many people are watching. And then for those of you, I mean, I know this is kind of the next step, but there's like a exactly. other strategy <laughs> where you can, you know, now you can run ads to retarget, you know, new people to see your paintings and then it can yes. snowball into something that you never thought of. But it takes, right, Wendy, that first step, even though you're scared. That first step, you just got to just just take it out on faith is what you got to do. Yeah. So what would you say to people who are um, terrified to do that? And like, how could they maybe get through that? Like you did, you just pushed through and did it. So how, what, what did you do to push through? <laughs> Tell us. Oh, well, I just made a decision first. You got to make a decision. Do you, you know, do you want to step forward? Uh, you, you always have to look at it. When I first even got on here, I had to make that decision, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I knew that I was going to be directed 
in the right direction. But my thing is get on some your page. If you're part of Paint Party Headquarters, oh, you, okay. you know, get on there because you, there's so many things in there that you can learn. And then finally, whenever you hear all this positivity coming across, and that's what I was listening to because I was like virtual. Woo! I was sitting back, <laughs> you know, virtual live. Let's see. <laughs> so I was listening and seeing all of our Paint Party Headquarters sisters. Man, they were just diving in there and they were doing this and they were, you know, doing all these paintings. I was like, okay, I'm doing this, you know, so you make that decision and then you just do it, <laughs> you know, yeah, just do it. Oh my gosh. For those of y'all that, um, you know, if you're a little lost, okay. So there's in-person <laughs> parties and then, you right. know, especially with the, the way the world's changing, there's always been mm. online virtual parties, but now it's kind of like the future. Like, you know, a lot of people are, doing these virtual parties and yes. a lot of people, you know, you may have had certain people that would come to your in-person parties that maybe couldn't come to your in-person, you know, maybe right. there was, you know, something that, and you know, prohibit, like maybe they were in a wheelchair or maybe they were just really scared to be around people or whatever right. the case is. Now you're able to open that up to not only to your community, but to worldwide. Like, you know, Julie just had somebody international from Canada Sign wow, up for yeah. the paint party and she's in my yeah. and so um, <laughs> so I want y'all to kind of like broaden your your thought process of the way traditionally paint parties have been run because there's so right. much potential and opportunity if you kind of look at it and Wendy has you yes. know gone for it so this is just the start of a whole yeah. new thing so how do you do all this I'm excited about it. It's different. Um, I have to do my little setup different because at my house, I don't have a lot of internet service. So I really have to like, you know, arrange it in a different way. So I usually go to my sister's house. She has better lighting and stuff of that nature. Um, so that's, that's where I'll be probably <laughs> or most of the time, but whatever works. <laughs> Hey, right there is another um, example of somebody who like, you have a challenge, you have bad internet at your house, instead of making yes. interviews and going, oh, I can't do it. You're like, going to my sister's, you know? That's like, right. <laughs> I mean, that's what I love so much about um, create, creative people is because we are really good at solving problems. Right. So we can sit there and just, okay, that didn't work. Let's pivot or let's, you know, think, <laughs> what can we do differently? So I love that. <laughs> Okay, so any um, final <laughs> words of wisdom do you want to leave anybody on what, you know, if they're thinking about teaching paint parties and they're, they're, they come across this interview and they're like, okay, what can Wendy tell me to help me <laughs> do this even though I'm scared? What would you tell them? Even, even though you're scared. Well, I always trust the process. If you decide to do it, just decide to jump on in. Don't do it half-heartedly. Uh, if you happen to jump on with paint party headquarters or whatever you're doing, Go in it with an open heart, open mind, and just listen to other people. Listen to their directions, and uh, Heidi's been a great, great, great mentor. And Julie, I'm Julie Shelley, whenever she was on, uh, I, I miss her being on here too, <laughs> you know. Um, but just those people that are positive, look for those people, because they're going to show you a way. You know, it's just, then we got to step out on it, make you a calendar, make a calendar because the calendar is very important, especially if you're a busy person, busy person gets things done, but you have to have a calendar. Oh, I like then, that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, but just, just trust the process. If it's something that's in your heart, just trust the process because it's going to come out right. <laughs> Yeah, so I love that. I love that busy people get stuff done, but you got to have a calendar for it. That's so true. <laughs> That's, That's right. Got to know where you're going. My husband, I said, if it's on that calendar <laughs> there on the wall, in paper, written in my Sharpies, it gets done. But if it's not on there, it's not happening. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because you got to go buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your list. So, oh my gosh, I love that. Well, I'm just so proud of you for um, <laughs> stepping out there and going live because, you know, we we have the choice to either, you know, take action through our fear or we right. have the choice to go, I can't do that. Like, that's kind of how it looks. We back up, right? We back up. We're like, oh no, it's too scary. And, and I can just um, attest to, I know Wendy, as well as myself, as well as anybody else out there doing anything new. 
you're not going to do it right the first time. It's always awkward. It's always <laughs> weird. And all of those things um, come up and they make us think like, oh my gosh, is, you know, are somebody going to be rewinding and looking at my small bottom <laughs> lip that I had to draw on? Yeah. I don't have one. <laughs> you know, like, it's, yeah. I mean, I remember one of my first videos too. I had like this massive zit because I was so like nervous and stressed out. <laughs> and it was like right here. And like, I just had to get the video, you know, so, yeah. so I, um, just coming in and sharing, you know, what you've gone through already and just the changes right. you're able to pivot and make just makes me very happy and excited for you. Thank you. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. <laughs> well, Wendy, where can they find you if they want to reach out or book you for a party or even just um, like you on Facebook? Where can uh, well, you can just come to paint with Wendy and it's just paint with, and then Wendy is W E N dash D E N. And Wendy Edmonds is my Facebook uh, name. And just look me up. You can inbox me if you have any questions. I'll be glad to direct you in any kind of way that I can. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. And if you don't mind um, showing Wendy some love, maybe you can go like her Facebook page. And then if you'll leave <laughs> us a comment and let us know um, what, um, what your biggest takeaway was from this. All right. We appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Thank you.